Hey, what's going on guys? Um, I just got my training session done and it went a lot better than I had expected it to go. I don't do a whole lot of training vlogs just because I think there's a ton out there and I'm not amazing at what I do, but I think it's cool to uh, kind of dabble into other things other than reviews here and there. But I have taken a little bit of a break from the reviews just because I felt a little bit burnt out. So I'll probably be back next week making more review videos. Got some cool stuff lined up. Uh, but first, to go with my training vlog, I want to kind of go over the equipment that I use today and um, just so you can get an insight onto what's coming up maybe and uh, what I'm using and what I like to use. So first off, we've got the Noble Lifters. Definitely my favorite pair of Olympic lifting shoes, but I don't use them as much as I hope to have uh, just because I have so many pairs of shoes and I don't want to get these ones all beat up. But they have stretched out a pretty good amount, so they're a little bit more comfortable to wear now. Of course, I've got my Get Work knee sleeves, or worked some of the best knee sleeves on the market. Turn down this music. The new Tribe Called Quest CD. What's up? As far as the bumper plates, I've got a set of Rage Fitness 10 pound bumper plates and they're actually really, really nice. Uh, they've got this flat end right here which makes it far superior to the Rogue HGs that I have next. These are the H HG 2.0s and uh, what I don't like is this taper right here which makes the edge the contact area a little bit too thin um, and I think in the long run this will end up breaking much faster than something like this will. You'll see a lot of popular bumper plates adopt this flat style edge nowadays. The bar that I'm using is a 20 kg Rogue Fitness Boneyard bar. Um, these are probably the best deals on the market right now. These bars are in excellent condition. This is the training bar and uh, it's uh, the bright zinc with bright zinc sleeves and it's honestly it's like perfect. Uh, there's a little bit of haziness to the coating but I mean that's gonna happen anyways but otherwise it was brand new. Up next again faster training bumper plates. I got these for a steal off again faster they had like a flash sale and they actually sold out of their 45s so I only had to add on a little bit like 20 bucks and they gave me the again faster Klokov competition plates totally lucked out there the spin on this bar is excellent this is probably the best spinning rogue fitness bar including their bearing bars it's it's nuts this the sleeves spin forever on this bar uh, and of course you know my normal platform which is just two pieces of wood put together but it serves its purpose and it's good um, and then my collection of stuff so yeah that's it guys um, stay tuned for more stuff next week where I'll start putting out some more reviews and whatnot and uh, let me know in the comment section if you guys like to see the training vlogs uh, I don't mind doing them because I just do them anyways so make sure you subscribe and like and uh, as always guys thanks for watching so here's the start of everything I'm still warming up this is only 135 like I said in the intro there is the again faster Klokov competition plates and I'm using that with the Rogue Fitness Boneyard training barbell. This one does not have the center neural but it is the bushing bar. Uh, I did get another one that did have center neural and it's exactly like the center neural that is on the Rogue EU bar which is excellent because it is very soft but it's good enough to stick to your shirt or like sweaty skin definitely recommend that uh, all my lifts are pretty good until now 175 I missed a few times everything felt really good until now I just I think I just talked myself out of all these ones finally get it feels good looks good pause at the bottom make sure I get it now here's 185 which is the bane of my existence and it always is 
course I missed the first one, I missed a bunch of them yesterday, make the second one, pretty good make, I like it. Here's the start of the cleaning jerks, nothing real heavy today, I actually went a little bit lighter on my cleaning jerks, just because I did a ton of cleans yesterday. I did the three Wiseman tributes at my box and I tried it in Elite and that's 185 for the hang snack and 185 for the power clean and I did not get a single hang snatch which was very depressing uh, because I thought I would be able to do it this year at Elite but I did not so maybe next year but that's why we do this we're constantly trying to improve and get better and so we can measure how much better we are than last year so here is my jerks my uh, jerks are not the greatest so I'm really trying to put my head forward my upper thoracic mobility is crap so you'll see me stick my head forward a little bit more than I normally will just trying to practice getting my head forward that one felt okay now here's 225 and this one like buried me I don't know what happened here and then finally the jerk not too bad all right so here's the uh, sleeve of the rogue fitness training bar I just unloaded the bar and now here's the spin on it it's freaking ridiculous for a bushing bar I don't understand how this one spins so much better than every other Rogue bar, but this is definitely the best deal on Rogue Fitness's website right now for $245 for their Boneyard bar. Definitely check that out.